this particular video, I'm going to get, show you some translation practice based on Chapter 2 of the AQA A-Level Spanish textbook. My name is Stephen French from alevelspanish.co.uk and Stephen French Languages. So, just to underline again, so the purpose is, firstly, is to help students with translation from English to Spanish, as it is recognised that this might be an area of some challenge for certain uh, students, and secondly, perhaps to show one or two of the techniques which can be used. So, let's get going, let's get into the meat of this. So firstly, here is my translation, or my English, that I'm trying to get into Spanish. And the short sentence is, many right-wing politicians in Latin America are against gay rights. Now, what I'm going to do is to get this into Spanish, and my proposed translation is, Muchos políticos derechistas en América Latina están en contra de los derechos de los homosexuales. So in the little table below, you can see I've broken up the sentence into four separate parts. So many right-wing politicians in Latin America are against gay rights. And then underneath, you can see my proposed translations underneath with one or two notes um, and comments on how I've got to the translation. So let's just go. Let's go and break it up and um, here we go. Many right-wing politicians. So, muchos políticos derechistas. Now, the first thing to notice, of course, that everything needs to be in the plural. Quite straightforward. So, we've got muchos políticos. Let's look at my second note here. Now, it might appear that derechista is a little bit confusing. If you look up the ver word left-wing or right-wing in uh, the dictionary, the translation you're going to get is derechista in the singular and derechistas in the plural. So that's why we've got derechistas here. And of course, um, it can sometimes can seem a little bit confusing, but derechista is the form of the, the correct form of right wing. So we've got muchos políticos derechistas. And it might seem there's a slight clash between muchos políticos and derechistas, but there you have it. And the one final comment on this first piece is we've got the accent on the I, políticos. Why it's on the I is perhaps um, for another time, but basically if a word ends in N or S, the stress is on the penultimate or the last syllable but one. So in this particular case, it's not on the one that I'm indicating here. It's not politico, it's politico. And for that reason, the accent is on the I. So that's the first part. Let's move on to the second part. In, Ameri uh, in Latin America and the translation, en America Latina. So a couple of three points to be made here. Firstly, we've got our accent on the E here. Secondly, we're using capital letters. Um, and of course, the contrasting use between English and Spanish is that we use capital letters when describing countries. But you do not use a capital letter in Spanish when you're talking about a language or the nationality of somewhere, someone. And of course, this contrasts something somewhat with the use in English, when we do use capital letters. So Spanish, of course, is a capital S for Spanish, whereas in Spanish, it's Espanol with a lowercase. And, of course, the final point is Latina is agreeing with America. So there we go, America Latina. The third part is we're translating are against. Now, my first point here is my suggestion is, when you're learning vocabulary, learn certain things in block phrases. So the block phrase I've got in my head here is estar en contra. I've got the infinitive estar, and then I've got the little phrase at the end, against, en contra de, and I've learned that as an entire block. So I know in my mind, to be against is estar en contra. Then what we need to do is to make sure that we uh, decline estar into the correct person. So here I've got están, and están, of course, 
is agreeing with muchos políticos derechistas. Muchos políticos derechistas is the third person plural. It can be replaced by the word they. So, they are in Spanish, or one of the forms of they are, is están. And that's why we've got to están. And of course, just a quick uh, recap on estar, the irregular verb. It goes estoy, estás, está, estamos, estáis, están. So that is the whole of the verb in the present tense. And there we've got están. And of course, I haven't forgotten the accent on están. And then last but not least, coming on to the, uh, the final part of the sentence, gay rights. My translation in Spanish is los derechos de los homosexuales. Okay, one or two things to point out here. Making sure that we've got um, plurals here, the rights of homosexuals or gay people. And that is my translation into Spanish. And the use of los is a lot more frequent and the use of el and la and los is a lot more frequent in Spanish than in English. And what I suggest you do when you're reading and you're listening, pick up and just notice when el and la and los and las is being used. And slowly but surely, you'll get into the rhythm and the feeling of when it needs to be used. So, many right-wing politicians in Latin America are against gay rights. It could be translated as Muchos políticos derechistas en América Latina están en contra de los derechos de los homosexuales. So there you have it. Hope you found that interesting. If you did, stick around in the playlist because there'll be more and more of these going up onto the net and consider subscribing or perhaps consider subscribing to the channel. So, just to wrap up, my name is Stephen French from alevelspanish.co.uk and Stephen French Languages. Hasta pronto, amigos míos.